hi guys in this video I am going to talk about how to uh, display a text on 16 by 2 LCD display uh, using a Raspberry Pi so now you will be thinking like okay there are a number of tutorials already out there which does this uh, what I am going to do is a bit different so here I am going to develop an iPhone app with the help of which uh, you can send the message from the iPhone app to the LCD display via Raspberry Pi so that's what I'm going to do here so uh, before we jump in let's uh, discuss about the hardware part so I have the Raspberry Pi board over here then I have the LCD display and I have a I2C uh, board uh, which helps me help me to connect to the Raspberry Pi BTC so let's uh, look at the connection part so first thing the ground connection goes to the uh, pin number 6 of the Raspberry Pi the uh, VCC connection which is the red wire goes to pin number 2 of the Raspberry Pi then the SDA which is the black wire goes to the pin number 3 of the Raspberry Pi and the ACL the white one goes to pin number 5 of the Raspberry Pi so that's all uh, with the connection so now we'll talk about the programming part okay guys uh, now let's get back to the programming part of it so I'm using a uh, VNC viewer to VNC into my uh, Raspberry Pi so now there are uh, quite some steps which we need to follow to enable uh, I2C connection in Raspberry Pi so these are the uh, steps that you need to do so first you need to install Python SMBus tools then install I2C tools I have already done all these things then open up uh, ETC modules and uh, make sure so you can see that I2C hyphen dev is present here then if you do sudo i2c detect you can start uh, detecting so you can see this now next step is uh, clone this library so in this particular you clone it to a directory so that's all so once you have cloned it so i have a folder lcd let's close this down so this is where i clone the directory so if you open it, uh, go to lib so you have two files here like i2c lib by and lcd driver so copy those two and put it in there. I have a different folder so I pasted those two here and I wrote a Python code so what what it does is it uses the LCD driver and I2C library to write something into the uh, LCD so once you run the script you should be seeing something on the LCD let's try that So I, you can see here the text that I have executed here is visible in your LCD. So that's basically the step to display something on the LCD. Yeah. So now you have seen that uh, we are able to display text on the LCD monitor so next thing is like how to do this with an iphone app so you type in something in the iphone app and it just appears here so to do that i'm using something called mqtt uh, protocol so so what you need to do is you need to install mosquito uh, MQTT broker 
so sudo apt get install mosquito mosquito clients uh, what it does is once that is installed every time uh, raspberry pi boots up it starts the mosquito server or mosquito broker in the uh, raspberry pi next step is to install paho mqtt it's a library to uh, support uh, mqtt clients so once you install that you should be ready to communicate via mqtt so i have this in in mqtt i have two files called publisher and subscriber so publisher is some guy who publishes a message to a topic and a server so if you if i open this you can see something yeah so every mqtt connection uh, will have a mqtt server and a mqtt path which is uh, called as topic so like if you publish i'm i here i am publishing some message like hello this is a message from raspberry pi to this and there somebody called subscriber yeah so subscribe is some guy who listens to this broadcast so like, let's say you have something like on message so when a message comes to this particular channel it will take up the data and process it. so here uh, we have the client is first connected connecting to the mqtt server via 183 port and uh, keep on listening to uh, a message being sent on this port so let's let's quickly try and see how this works so i'm going to run this uh, subscriber so it's started now and now let's go to command line sudo python publish so now i'm going to broadcast one message so if you check the logs you can see that the subscriber has printed this okay like in on message you will get the message sent so hello this is a message from raspberry pi so we are going to use the same concept to send message from an iphone app okay so let's uh, do that okay so now i have this iphone app open up so you can see it's it's pretty simple app uh, so it asks you to enter a, an IP address, uh, then the topic to subscribe, and then once you connect, you will be able to send message. So let's try that. So I'm give, going to give my IP address of Raspberry Pi. Dot zero dot eleven. So test. So test underscore channel. So that's it. So I'm going to connect so you can see that the status changed to connect and you can see the logs coming up here so I will come to the code part later so now let's uh, try sending some data So I just send this message now let's check in the Raspberry Pi so you can see that this subscriber started receiving the message so that's how it works now let's see how we can display uh, something on the LC so let, let me close this subscriber so I have modified this subscriber to <coughs> include uh, the display part so this is the new subscriber class how it looks like so I have added the LCD drivers and uh, other imports so what happens is 
once you get a message I am asking the LCD driver to print it out into the LCD display so now let's uh, run this to subscribe now let's go back to my US app So I am going to send it. So I have uh, given a scrolling text. That's why it's a bit flickery. You can see that the message is still there. That's all. So we have seen how you can easily send a message. Uh, from iPhone to a device via MQTT connection so vice versa is also possible let's say I'm going to uh, run this again and if I look at my logs I my iPhone also received this hello this is a message from Raspberry Pi now what you need to do in iOS code to make this work so this is a magic done by a framework called Cocoa MQTT. So what I have written is like I have created a simple uh, UI which accepts an IP address and a topic, then a button to connect. And I have somebody called MQTT manager which is a wrapper around Cocoa MQTT. So once you initialize an MQTT manager, you pass on uh, the identifier host topic and a presenter so this is a ua callback to update the ua and then you set up the mqtt uh, properties like there's a possibility of uh, secure connection so right now it's uh, not secure so you don't need to do it <coughs> then you have mqtt connect then mqtt subscribe and mqtt publish so and uh, this way you can publish and subscribe to any topic of your interest then you have cocoa mqtt delegate uh, which constantly gives you uh, the connection health health checks whether the connection has failed whether the publish has failed or success whether the subscription is successful or not all these things so uh, that's all with the ios app and so coco mqtt framework uh, does it for us and that's all thank you